Hi, I'm Grace M. Cho, and I'm reading from my memoir, Tastes Like War. While I had already spent years thinking about my mother's situation, the work of systematically breaking it down began in my first year sociological methods class, in which we were asked to write weekly research questions. I never explicitly mentioned her in the assignments, but she was present in the subtext of everything I wrote. What structures and systems and geopolitical events created a social context in which she dared to transgress her societal norms to enter the sex industry? Once there, what small actions and gestures slowly eroded her self-esteem? What large-scale transactions crushed her psyche? Once out, did the same things happen all over again, just in a different time and place? The answers to these questions were not at all obvious. Later, after I had spent a decade on my investigation, my sister-in-law would say that she had only told me because I ought to know, because she was speaking woman to woman. Somehow she expected me never to do anything with those words except to lock up the secret myself and never speak of it again. When I had made it my life's work to openly interrogate the words that had haunted me, when I had written hundreds of pages about them, my sister-in-law revised the storyline. Your mother was a cocktail waitress, nothing else. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether she was a cocktail waitress or a prostitute or something in between, because those words, when they were first spoken, changed me. Your mother used to be a prostitute. That bit of new information was so huge that it erased my old memories. It made me forget all those years when she was my mama, the woman who called me crust girl and was famous for her blackberry pies. Thank you.